Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to another adventure of Mr. V's Voyage Through Cuisine. So in the past, we've been talking about specific cuisines, but now we're going to evolve the modern idea of fusion cuisine. And to start, we're going to make Halva Magic Bars. Now, this recipe we're going to use comes from the Food Network. Molly Ye, she has Girl Meets Farm on the Food Network. Now, Molly herself is a great example of cultures coming together. She is of Chinese and Jewish heritage. She was also born in Illinois, but had schooling in Brooklyn, and now lives on a sugar beet farm in North Dakota. So she's got a lot of different blends of culture in her cooking, which you see on her show. And when I saw this recipe, I thought, wow, this would be a great voyage for us to partake in. So we are going to start with our butter. Now, another name for Magic Bar is a seven layer bar. And you're going to see as we go through that we are going to have seven layers of this dessert bar. Now, seven layer bars came to prominence in the United States in the 1930s. And there's a lot of different things you can put in a seven layer bar. Some of them are chocolatey, coconutty, fruity. Here we're going to have chocolate and coconut in this one. So we've got the butter coated nice and evenly on the bottom of our 8x8 pan. Now we're going to take our crushed up graham crackers. Graham crackers, what a staple American snack. Now, graham crackers have a very interesting history. Um, the name graham crackers pays homage to a Presbyterian pastor, Sylvester Graham. Now, he was a pastor during the 1850s when a cholera pandemic, how fitting, was going on in the United States. And in order to combat the pandemic, he really preached this idea of temperance, of moderation. And he preached a vegetarian diet and a very wheat-based diet. Now, because of this, he gained a lot of followers and the maker of the graham crackers, they were inspired by him, so they put his name in the graham cracker. What makes it a graham cracker is the actual flour. Very similar to a whole wheat flour, but it just isn't as sifted as much during the milling process. All right, so now that I've got my first layer pretty much patted down, still part of the first layer, we've got some salt. Sprinkle that evenly across. Wonderful. All right, now our next layer are our chocolate chips. And these are milk chocolate chips. Now, in our episodes earlier, we've talked about the origins of chocolate. So we're not going to get into that as much today. But since these are milk chocolate chips, we can spend a little time talking about the origins of milk chocolate. Again, the milk chocolate was invented most likely by a man in Switzerland. And he was adding powdered milk to his chocolate mixture to give it this nice silky taste. And a lot of chocolate that we eat today is based off of this milk chocolate. You know, Hershey's chocolate, very famous, that's a milk chocolate. All right, now the graham crackers in there, good. Let's pour our chocolate. And this is layer number two. All right. Now that we have our milk chocolate morsels down nicely and evenly, we can move on to our third layer. And this is halva, very unique ingredient that Molly decided to put in this dish. Now halva has origins from the Middle East. It's spread outwards of the Middle East into places like Greece nowadays. However, it does have Middle Eastern origins. And what this is, it's a sweet, it's made from nut butter, sugar, some sesame, right? This particular halva is Greek halva, and it actually has chocolate flavoring in it. So we're going to spread the halva out nicely. 
along making our third layer. And once I saw the halva in this recipe, I said, wow, I really need to take this on one of our voyages. So we have a lot of different aspects going on here that may be unique to some of you. I don't know how many of you before this have seen halva. All right. Now we have some freshly toasted shelled pistachios. Now these are the unsalted variety. We don't want to add any more salt to our nice sweet dessert. Now, the origin of pistachios, these come from Western Asia or the area we would know as Asia Minor. All right. Pistachios found in a lot of different cuisines, very versatile ingredient. We see them in sweet, we see them in savory. A lot of people even just eat them as a snack. And this is our fifth layer of our dessert bars. All right, give it a nice pack down, get everything really in there. Now we have our first layer, our graham crackers, our second layer, our chocolate, our third layer, our halva, and our fourth layer, our pistachios. So layer number five comes to us with our sweetened condensed milk. Sweetened condensed milk comes to us from the United States. So we're going to pour a little bit on our bars, spreading it out nicely, give us some room in the can. All right, now that we have some room in the can to mix, we're gonna add our next two ingredients. Vanilla, vanilla extract, very popular in a lot of, lot of ingredients, a lot of foods. Now, vanilla comes from Mesoamerica. A lot of people think when they hear vanilla, they think of especially Madagascar, but we're really looking at Mexico and Guatemala as the origin of vanilla. Now, here's a unique ingredient. It's called rose water. Now, like the name says, it is made from rose petals. Rose water we see originate in ancient Persia, modern day Iran. So we're gonna pour that, give some very floral notes. We're gonna mix the vanilla and the rose water with the rest of our sweetened condensed milk. Put some nice flavor into our magic bars. Alright, so let's finish putting on layer number five. scoop out all that goodness. We don't want to leave anything in the can. Spread it out into some of the edges and corners. Really want to get it in all those nooks and crannies. layer number six, we have shredded coconut. Now, coconut comes to us from Southwest Asia and Melanesia. Now, the origin of coconut has been something that has been debated over the last century by historians. Because um, we do see populations of coconut in South America pre the arrival of um, Europeans. Now, this 
lends people to think that, you know what, maybe um, seafaring people like the Polynesians made it to areas like South America long before Columbus came over. This has been a theory that has been floated out by multiple historians that they have some research for and definitely could be a possibility. Again, got to read some reputable historical information on that and see what comes up. That's why we're always studying history. Just because we've thought of something for a long time doesn't mean that something can't come and change it down the road. All right, so we've got our coconut spread in nicely around our bars. And now for our seventh layer of our seventh layer Hava Wonder Bars, our sprinkles. Give us nice rainbow color on top of our bars. Sprinkles, one of these things that multiple people claim to be the originator of. Um, there's a bakery in Brooklyn that claims they are the originator of sprinkles. However, it does look like sprinkles originated in the Netherlands. So, spread them out all over our bars. Get everything to set. And now we have the oven set to 350 degrees. Here they are before they're cooked. All right, 350 degrees. And we're gonna have them in there for 25 minutes. Let's pop them in there. Set a timer for 25 minutes. And we'll check back once those are done. All right, everyone, now our Halva Magic Bars are out of the oven. They have cooled. Now it's time to take them out of the pan and cut them up. So that's why we put the parchment paper in our pan, so we can pull them up nicely. Don't let anything let, be left in the pan. So we'll give it a few cuts. Try to make them as even as possible. Okay, and here we have one of our Halva Magic Bars, our homemade seven layer bars brought to you by Molly Ye. Let's take a bite. Mmm. So good. Lots of different flavors. Highly recommend. Alright, that is all we have time for today. Can't wait to see you guys next time on Mr. V's Voyage Through Cuisine.